how the fix failed to initialize Direct3D in Windows 10 issue. There are several factors that can cause this particular problem ranging from a driver issue to a problematic DLL file. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series we will tackle the failed to initialize Direct3D in Windows 10 issue. But before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps in this video, it's best to restart your computer first. This action refreshes the operating system and removes any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the failed to initialize Direct3D issue. First, update your graphics card driver. One of the most common factors that can cause fail to initialize Direct3D issue is an outdated or corrupted graphics card driver. To fix this you will need to reinstall the driver. If you have an AMD graphics card or integrated graphics card you can refer to the article link on the description box of this video on how to update your graphics driver. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card then follow these steps. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box type msconfig and press Enter or click on OK to open System Configuration section. Then, at the System Configuration section click on Boot tab. Under Boot options, check Safe Boot then click Apply to apply changes made. Then click OK to exit system configuration. Next, go to your local hard disk by clicking on this PC then local disk C then program files x86 folder. Then, locate NVIDIA folder. Right click on it and choose delete. Next, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box type devmgnt.msc and press Enter or click on OK to open Device Manager. Then, at the Device Manager click on Display Adapters to expand it. This will list all network adapters that the machine has installed. Then, right-click on NVIDIA adapter you want to uninstall and select Uninstall from the drop-down menu. Click OK when prompted to uninstall the device. This will remove the adapter from the list and uninstall the driver. Next, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open again Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box type msconfig and press Enter or click on OK to open System Configuration section. Then, at the System Configuration section click on Boot tab. Under Boot Options, uncheck Safe Boot then click Apply to apply changes made then click OK to exit System Configuration. When you're prompted to restart your computer to apply these changes, click Restart. Next, download the latest NVIDIA driver for your computer from here. Run the setup file and follow the instructions which appear on screen. Choose the custom installation option and check all the boxes in the custom install options windows. Also check the box which states perform clean install. Then, restart your computer. After computer completely reboots, check if failed to initialize Direct3D in Windows 10 still occurs. Next, reinstall Visual C++ Redistributables. The Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable is a standard distributable package of shared code that comes as part of your Windows and enables apps to run on your PC. If this has become corrupted or is missing some files then it could lead to the failed to initialize Direct3D issue. First, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box type appwis.cpl and press Enter or click on OK to open Programs and Features section. Then, at the Programs and Features section locate the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. Then right-click on it and click on Change option. Then, click on Uninstall. 
Next, download the Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library from here. Then, install the downloaded file. Check if the cannot initialize direct 3D issue still occurs. Lastly, change the game resolution. There are instances when this problem can occur because of a game configuration. In particular, the problem will occur when running the game at a specific resolution. To fix you can simply change the game's resolution from its configuration app and try to run it again or you can also try to run the game in windowed mode. Try checking if failed to initialize direct 3D issue still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed failed to initialize direct 3D in Windows 10 issue. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.